Hello, my friends. I'm Clover. This is Gas. And today we are solving One Ish Direction by Philip Newman. This was posted in Gas on November 11th, 2024. And it is an arrow Sudoku. So normal Sudoku rules apply. We're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each heavily outlined three by three region. And then we also have some arrows in the grid. And along each of these arrows, we've got a round bulb. And the bulb contains the sum of the digits along the arrow. There's one arrow here that has two different arrows attached to one bulb. And in this case, these each sum to the value in the bulb independently. That's the rule with arrow Sudoku unless specified otherwise. So in this solve, we're going to start here. Because the absolute lowest we can possibly make the total along this very, very long arrow is going to be 9, and here's why. We can only put 1 and 2 there, 1 there, 1 and 2 there, 1 there, and 1 there. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. <laughs> of course, I type 8. Now, right here, same situation. The minimum here is going to be 1, 2, 3. We can eliminate 1 there and 3 there. And the minimum here is going to be 1 and 2, which takes care of this, actually. And that's going to give us a 9, so we know we're at the minimum there. So those two very long arrows are the first to fall here. Let's look at the shorter arrows. So here, this is going to be a minimum of 2 plus 3 is 5. And then this can't be a 1 or 2, so it's a minimum of 3. 2 plus 3 plus 3 is 8. We can't go up to 9 because there's a 9 in the row already. So that's going to be an 8, which makes this a 7. Now we need to add something to 5 to make this total. Can't add 1, 2, or 3, so we must be adding a 4 to make a 9. And so this region is finished. So we only have one arrow left. Let's do a little bit of Sudoku before we fill it in, just to see some of the magic unfold. So we've got 1s in those four positions. So the 1 in this region has to go here. And I believe, yep, we have 2s in these positions. So 2 in this region has to go here, which resolves this 2 and 3. We now have 2s in these three positions. So 2 in this region has to go here. And we have 2s in these four positions. So 2 in the top left region has to go here. And that's going to be all of our 2s. So this guy is 3 plus something. So it's 3 plus 4, 5, or 6. Can't be 3 plus 5 because we already have an 8 in the region. So... That's going to be 3 plus 4, which is 7, or 3 plus 9, which is 6. And I believe our next move is going to be to work on 9s. So we have 9s in these three spots. So if we look at the top center region, 9 can't go in those cells, so it must go there. We have a 9 here and a 9 here, and that tells us 9 is in one of these two positions. Now, because 9 is in one of those two positions, we already know there's a 9 in row 4. So we can't put a 9 anywhere else in row 4. We also can't put a 9 in those two cells because there's a 9 right in the middle, and we can't put a 9 there because there's a 9 in the column. So 9 goes there, making this a 7. And so these cells are going to contain 5, 6, and 9, and we can eliminate 9 from these two because they see 9s. So there's a 9. And now we're going to be doing a classic Sudoku. We've got two 3s here, so we can place a 3 only there in this region. If we look in this row, we need a 3, a 5, and a 6. That can't be 3. These are going to be some combination of 3, 4, 5, and 6. Note there's only one position for 4, so it has to go there. And then that's either 3 or 6. So the 5 is in one of these cells, so we can eliminate 5 here. That's not super important right this second, but we're going to do it anyways, just for the sake of keeping things tidy. Now we need 5, 6, and 8 to finish this region. Can't put an 8 right there, because there's an 8 in the column. We need a 7 somewhere in this column, and it can't go in any of the cells we've marked so far. And it also can't go here because there's a 7 in the row. So there is my 7. And then this is going to be 3, 5, or 6 to finish the column. All right, I believe I want to look a little more at 3s. So 3 sees these cells and that one. So 3, no, I don't think 3 is going to crack it quite yet. What's Okay, so 4 in row 7 is my next move. I have a 4 here, I have a 4 here, so I can't put 4 in those cells in row 7. I also can't put 4 in any cells that I've marked yet, so 4 is going to go right there. Now I have these three 4s that see almost all of region 6, so there's going to be a 4. That gives me a 4 here, and my last 4 is right up, whoop, second to last 4. My last 4 is going to be right here by Sudoku. So now that I've got a 4 there, this row just needs a 3-6 pair, which resolves because I have a 3 looking at that cell. So that's a 6, that's a 3. 
That's a five, that's a six, that's a three, and that is a five, six pair. Here I'm going to need a six and an, or not a six and an eight, actually, a five and an eight to finish the column. So there's a five and an eight. And here I need a five, a seven, and an eight, but that can't be a five and that can't be an eight. And this is also part of my seven, eight pair. Here I'm going to need five, six, and eight. Here I need three, six, and nine to finish the row. So that's actually my last nine in the grid. Here I can eliminate six and make that a five, eight pair. To finish this row, I'm also going to need five and eight, and those resolve quickly because I have a five right here. And my digits here are going to be three, six, and seven. That will be a six because I have three and seven already. That'll be a seven because I have a three already, and that will be a three. My nine gives me a nine right there. These are going to contain five and six. And now I have a five, six pair that places an eight, and that has kind of this lovely ripple effect that bounces back and takes care of pretty much the entire rest of the grid just by spotting naked and hidden singles to finish the puzzle. There we go. That is how you solve Philip Newman's lovely gas one-ish direction. Hope you enjoyed that one. I definitely did. And if you want to try it yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video. I've been Clover. I will see you again in three days.